G'day everybody and welcome. I well I was Albert Woodron back in the nineteen back in the eighteen late eighteen hundreds and I died about nineteen twenty seven. But um I remember there's a few things I enjoyed doing. One playing for Norwood and playing cricket for five matches, but playing for Norwood as well. And one other thing I really enjoyed was that. My nickname in the football was Topsy the Clown. And this is Topsy the Clown. They call him the man's clown. The real man's clown. So let's have a look. So first let's have a look how this clown exhibition goes forward. Hi guys, this is a little belief of mine. I remember being a man's clown for the men and the free men sitting crossing their legs at me. Yeah, look at this. You see, you see, as I might have already told you, I am great Norwood Redlegs player Albert Woodron, and I was a great player, and I played three games for South Australia in the cricket, but I hated that, so I quit. And at the start of the 1900s, every October from 1900 to 1910, I was a clown at the Great Adelaide Circus. I was the clown, and yes, when you think of clowns, you think they are just for the kids, but me, Albert Woodron, Top City, the clown, was a clown at adults like. Albert Woodron's current Earth's Life family would have liked, mind you. I remember the things I did and the stuff I did. I got all the adults, especially the men, sitting with their legs crossed just like little kids do for clowns now. And I never got booed. That is why my dad called me Boo, because he was the first one to boo me back in 1900. And he wanted me to remember why Buddha put me in the family. Hello could, hello could be because his next lives were so tragically taken away from us. And Dad said, this guy is still getting teeth. You know, this guy. Like going boo, boo at him when he is a clown. I remember doing fly burgers in my, and I, like I did in my current life. But Albert's, Albert's version went like this. Mine, of course, his, his mind was cool. My mind was cool, but when I did fly burgers, it wasn't. Let's have a look. You see, fly burgers are a treat you really would enjoy. Fly burgers or the great chefs who cook it are unemployed. Simply, you catch a blowy between two buttered buns, and if you try to serve it out, you will be booted off, off your bum. And now at the footy, every fly is cooking on the barbecue plate, where all these pretty babes are arriving always arriving late. You see, I catch an annoying blowy that flies above my head and then place it on the barbecue plate for someone I really hate, like Fred. You see, I, you see, fly burgers are a treat you would enjoy. Fly burgers or the great chefs who cook it are unemployed. Simply catch a blowy between two buttered buns and if you try and serve it out, you will, you will be booted off out of your bum. And now in October, everyone is gathered in the city of Adelaide. C come along and enjoy the circus that has, it, that has got it made. You see, it's a clown and an elephant. Oh yeah, that sounds so cool. But then when, when a little fly comes by, coming to my red nose, just out of the blue. You see, fly burgers are, are a treat you would enjoy. Fly burgers or the great chefs who cook it are unemployed. Simply, you, if you catch a blowy between two buttered buns, and if you try to serve it out, you'll be booted out off your bum. Now, Dr. Harry Stone is a doctor that actually looked after me as I played football back then. Now, Dr. Harry Stone is busy this year since fly burgers are on the menu. You see, Harry is one guy that says flies put germs right in you. You see, it's so sad that the boys and girls and men and women die from eating flies. No, I can't understand it. No, I need to get medical advice. You see, fly burgers are a treat you would enjoy. Fly burgers or all, all the great chefs who cook it are unemployed. Simply, if you catch a blowy between two buttered buns, and if you try and serve it out, you'll be booted out off your bum. You see, fly burgers are a treat you would enjoy. Fly burgers or the great chefs who cook it are unemployed. Simply, if you catch a blowy between two buttered buns, and if you try to serve it out, you'll be booted out off your bum. You will be booted out off your bum. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 
And also I remember doing a rhyme about everyone's name. The first name is Rob. Rob, it has been 23 years since you have you had a job. Mike, I know you, I know you like to be fit, mate, but where is your bike? Chess, I know I saw you last night in the drains doing a whiz. Ken, you are the sweetest man that I have ever seen. And I remember doing a few balloon animals for the kids, and every kid enjoyed these balloon animals so much. And one kid said to me, thanks a lot, Topsy. There were heaps of great jokes like these, as, what, as my 10 years of being a clown, because th there was no pageant back then. So this was the big thing in Adelaide, and that, that I really did enjoy putting on and making an elephant jump through the hoop. Yes, that was so cool too, because my hoop, hoop was little. I never got this back to happen, but in hindsight, it might be the reason why my current Earth Bodies hometown bans circuses with animals there. And I also introduced Santa Claus, the man who has come to celebrate Christmas. And I made my own Christmas carol that I remember that never really made it big. Here it is. You see, fire up the barbecue and put a beer in the esky, and we, and we can celebrate the day that Christ is born. Everyone is gathering here at that annual circus. Yes, this is the time we had Christmas in Adelaide. The reindeer is sitting outside waiting for Santa to finish delivering presents, and the reindeer turned his nose up at the water, because in the water there was a very dead-looking pheasant. I don't know if it was a pheasant, but it didn't look that good. But when Santa finished with that house, he took a look at the pheasant and told the reindeer, Oh, that bloody God! You see, fire up the barbecue and put a beer in the esky, and we can celebrate the day that Christ has born. Everyone is gathering here at this annual circus. Yes, this is the time we had Christmas in Adelaide. Hi, Mr. Santa Man. Welcome, welcome to our city circus. Are you having a great time up on the North Pole in the ice? Are the elves helping to make Christmas good this year? And Mr. Santa Man, are you looking forward to your West End beer? And is Rudolph also there with you? Because I can't see him around. Is he shaking that bell of his? Because I can hear from downtown. Yeah, the North Pole is a great place to be. Everyone feels great. But Mr. Santa Man, when, you, when, when are you going to lose weight? You see, fire up the barbecue and put beer in the esky, and we can celebrate the day that Christ is born. Everyone is gathering here at this annual circus. Yes, this is the time we had Christmas in Adelaide. Okay, little Tommy Tipper, do you want that big dipper bud? And do you, want, do you still want that dolly, my little honey bug? Does your father want that shovel to do his gardening? And we all gathering at, here at the circus on a holiday that is for the Christians. And, the, and Mr. Harry Stone said, lay off those sweets, my dear, because you have an ulcer, and if you eat any bad food, you'll bloody die. But that never stopped her, and it won't stop me as well. Do, do you want to know why I say that, because you, you will come back as someone else. You see, fire up the barbecue and put beer in the esky, and we can celebrate the day Christ is born. Everyone is gathering here at the local circus. Yes, this is the time we had Christmas in Adelaide, Christmas in Adele, by the pool, or in the desert, or on Mount Lofty too. But most of all, we like to spend Christmas in Adelaide. Okay, that was a little Christmas song, and I remember like it was my current life. But I was Albert Woodron, a great, the great football player of Norwood. And yes, I got everyone back then in the entire streets of Adelaide. I was their hero, which might explain a bit about me wanting to say I was like us men. But I know I am who I say I am. Because when I go to Adelaide, and when I watch the pageant and I see a street parade, and as Albert Woodrum was a clown, 
I was a clown in that great big annual circus from 1900 to 1910, and my current Earth body will think, why not bring this parade out to other cities? Like, why don't other cities have parades like this? Sydney would love one. They have loads of people and would love it. And YouTube has brought parade into my living room as the new and improved Albert Woodron football and Christmas man to bring USA fun to Australia. We are trying. I know Australia is trying. And the, this clown show is great. Maybe Buddha wants me to lighten up Canberra. But that is a full-time job because, yeah, they have the carol evenings, but a Christmas parade would be nice through the streets of Gungahlin or Tuggeranong or Belcon or even the city, maybe even Woden, because the council should pick up the, pick the streets. I've been to Adelaide twice. I see the Christmas parade, and it won't cost much, really, to put it here. Anyway, here is a song that Albert Woodron performed as a clown back then. It's called Adelaide is a Very Splendid City. You see, Adelaide is a very splendid city. You see, there are churches everywhere. Adelaide lights up at Christmas, like for the Adelaide October Circus fireworks everywhere. You see, everywhere in the 10th month, we have a circus, that, and we have fun. I come out and bring you fun, and then Sir Edward Button says to us that, why should we have fun? The world is not about having fun. It's work made work hard for your dollar, and if you don't, you'll bloody holler. So come on, boys and girls and men and women, let's show our peer that politics and Christmas do not mix. You see, Adelaide is very splendid city. You see, there are churches everywhere, and everyone in South Terrace is enjoying the circus, which has the Penang. Oh, Adelaide is great. Hip hip hooray! You see, I like this song too. I remember the whole city of Adelaide coming down to South Terrace to see this circus, paying their two bucks admission. It's much more expensive now to see a circus, and getting the good circus experience they, that they were entitled to. Like Bethel, when he wanted that movie. And I always remember the goodbye song. Catch you later, see you soon. We can't go on forever, we want to keep going. But Edward Barton is such a Scrooge, you see we can't wait to celebrate the Christmas circus in the city of Adelaide. So Edward, I like you, but you need to enjoy life a bit as a person and not a politician. And only, and I only did this for 10 years, and there was no... TV or recording devices, this has to stay in people's minds. And if this Im imagination is unleashed, we can see more fun from those days than all the wars that you actually hear about. Because I am Albert Woodron, and I am Albert Woodron, who, who was Topsy the Clown, the, a man's clown, a clown that all the men would like, who was in this picture below. And this clown was in the circus at South Terrace, Adelaide on 18th of October from 1900 to 1910. Catch you soon. I hope you enjoy.